Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be crocheting a witch cauldron. This is a quick no sew pattern, perfect for any last minute Halloween decorations. For the materials, you will need black yarn for the cauldron, any two colors of yarn for the witch's brew. The more contrast, the better. A 3mm hook, a stitch marker, you could use a piece of yarn if you don't have any, some stuffing, scissors, and a needle. To start off, I'm going to be making the witch's brew and it's crocheted in a continuous spiral. I'm going to be referring to my yarn colors as color A and color B. Color A would be the darker blue and color B would be the lighter blue. To begin, start with color A and make a magic ring with three single crochets of this color. Once you're done, pull the loop out and slip stitch in the new color. You want to slip stitch around the magic ring to secure it in place. After that, crochet three single crochets in this color. So now we have a total of six single crochets, three in color A and three in color B. So now to close the magic ring, just pull the tail tight. Now starting the next round, we're going to start with color A and in the first stitch do a single crochet and also a bobble stitch in that first stitch. So here's a single crochet. And now the bobble stitch. For the bobble stitch, continue until you have 4 loops on your hook and then pull through. Now increase into the next two stitches. Make sure to push your bobble stitches up so they don't cave in. Now switching to color B, increase into the first stitch. Now single crochet and bobble stitch in the next stitch. and then increase into the last stitch. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Now continuing in color B, single crochet into the next stitch, and then increase into the following stitch. Repeat this two more times. Now repeat the same sequence in color A. There should be a total of 18 stitches at the end of this round. Now 
Here's what it looks like so far. Starting round 4, start in color 8 and single crochet into the next 2 stitches. Then increase into the next stitch. Repeat this sequence for another 2 more times. Switching to color B, single crochet into the next stitch. Then crochet a bobble stitch into the next stitch. Then increase into the next stitch. Then single crochet into the next two stitches. Follow that with an increase into the next stitch and repeat the sequence one more time. For round 5, we're going to start in color B and single crochet into the next 3 stitches. Then increase into the next stitch. You're going to repeat this sequence 2 more times. Now we're going to switch to color A and do the same as we did in the previous color. Now to finish this off, we're just going to slip stitch in each color and then pass it off. Once you've fastened off and weaved in your ends, it should look something like this. For the cauldron, we're going to start off with a magic ring and single crochet 6 into it. I'm using a blue yarn here because if I use black, it'd be practically impossible for you to see on camera. It's even hard for me to crochet in black. Once you finish the round, pull the tail to close the magic ring. We're going to crochet the bottom of the cauldron in rounds, so at the end of each round, slip this to join and then chain one to start the next round. Starting round two, increase into every stitch in the round for a total of 12 single crochets. Slip stitch to join and chain 1. For round 3, start with a single crochet into the first stitch. Follow that with an increase and repeat the sequence 5 more times for a total of 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Slip stitch to join and chain 1. In this round, we're going to make the cauldron feet. To start off, single crochet into the first two stitches. Follow that with an increase. Then single crochet one. Now make a bobble stitch into the next stitch. Continue the bobble stitch until you have five loops on your hook, then then pull through.
then increase into the next stitch and repeat the sequence two more times for a total of 24 stitches at the end of the round. At the end of the round, you should have three little feet like this. So now we're going to start crocheting in a continuous spiral. So get your stitch marker or a piece of yarn and mark the first stitch of your round. Since we haven't closed off the previous round, slip stitch to join and chain one. To start round five, single crochet into the first three stitches. Increase into the next stitch and repeat the sequence five more times for a total of 30 single crochets at the end of the round. For the next round, skip the first chain one and single crochet into the next four stitches. Follow that with an increase and repeat the sequence five more times for a total of 36 single crochets at the end of the round. Now for round 7 through 12, we're going to single crochet into every stitch in the round for a total of 36 single crochets at the end of each round. To start off round 13, single crochet into the first 4 stitches. Then follow that with a decrease and repeat the sequence 5 more times for a total of 30 stitches at the end of the round. On this final round, we're going to attach the witch's brew that we crocheted earlier. You can arrange the brew however you like, just keep in mind that the color in front is the color we will be using for the brew spill. To attach the brew to the cauldron, we're going to line up the stitches and single crochet through both stitches. Continue this for the next 7 stitches. We're going to color change on the ninth single crochet, so instead of pulling through with the original color, we're going to pull through with the new color. To make the color change easier, I like to pull the yarn to the back to secure it in place. Now with this new color, instead of single crocheting through the top loop, we're going to single crochet 3 rows down. So poke your hole through the 3rd row, attach the brew, and pull the yarn through. For the next stitch, repeat the same thing, just go one row lower. Now repeat the same thing but on the third row. Also, this is a stitch that we're going to color change so make sure to switch colors before finishing the stitch. For the next stitch, we're just going to do a regular single crochet. Make sure you're crocheting to the right stitch because as you can see in the video, I accidentally crocheted to the previous stitch rather than the next stitch. To know if you're crocheting into the right stitch, Count to see if you have 18 stitches left in the round. At this point you could also tie off the second color of yarn so it doesn't get in your way.
Now we're just going to continue single crocheting. Now before you finish the round, leave a gap so you could add stuffing. You could either find some polyfill at your local craft store, or if you're really in the Halloween spirit, you could gut, I, I mean recycle, an old teddy bear and use the filling from that. Once you finish filling it up, just single crochet the rest of the round. Now fasten off and weave in your ends. Thank you all so much for watching and coming to crochet with me. I learned a very important lesson about color choices here because my example quadrant ended up looking a bit odd and very very blue. If you chose more contrasting colors, it'll probably look better like the one I have here. Anyways, hope you guys have a happy Halloween and until next time, bye!